Hello, everyone. I am Eric Kander, Head of Management of Phantom Corporation. And I'm Laura Starr, Head of Propulsion at Aurora Space. And welcome to today's webcast. Today, we are launching Aurora 2. This is our second launch with Aurora 2, last flight. We had a successful mission proving Aurora 2's capabilities. Today, we are pushing it even more by having a first stage booster splash down in the ocean and having multiple engine relights on the second stage. Today, we are carrying the first Phantom Sat mission on Aurora 2. We already had Phantom Sats launched by Kuiper Space's Kuiper 1 rocket. Phantom of the New Year, Phantom of the Day, and Phantom of the Night. Phantom Sats will provide 24 7 communications to launch vehicles and spacecrafts. We are also announcing today a new logo for Phantom Corporation, making it cleaner and more futuristic. You can see the logo on the fairings of Aurora 2, but right now we don't really have a good view. During today's landing attempt, Booster 2 will perform a boost back burn lighting seven engines a little bit after stage separation. After boost back burn shutdown, the booster will shortly perform an entry burn with the same engine configuration and will then after get back into the atmosphere and perform a landing burn with five engines and slowly splash down. Aurora 2 fueling has been completed. Stage 1 at flight pressures. Stage 2 at flight pressures. We are targeting a go-no-go no go pole at T-minus 2 minutes. We will hear our launch director announce it in a few seconds. Mission Control, please be advised that we are going to go through a go-no-go no go pole ahead of today's flight at T-minus 2 minutes. Oh, there we go. We have a better view of the fairings on Aurora 2. We can really see the logo clearly. Attention all mission control. This is launch director. We are going through our go, no-go pole, propulsion, go, propellant, go, range, go, LD go. Aurora 2 is go for launch. Now go for launch. Let's hope that the booster will successfully perform a soft splashdown today. Aurora 2 is in startup. Let's hope everything goes well for today's mission. Aurora 2 will have quite a launch cadence targeting two launches per month. We will meet this goal after this flight on the 5th of March with Junalink 6102 and on the 22nd of March with Orialis Demo 1. Block 1 is going to have six flights until we switch to Block Y, which is a more advanced version of Aurora 2 during the Brigo SAID mission. Stage 1 Engine Chill Block Y is also going to have a new launch complex. We are switching to a new launch center that we call the Nebula Base which will host Aurora 2 activities, Kuiper Space's Horizon activities, and Aurora X activities. We'll talk about Aurora X and the Nebula base very soon. We are launching very soon. Stage one and stage two at flight level. Water on. Then nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Tower clear. Pitch over maneuver started. is going to space once again. Beautiful liftoff and we have 16 out of 16 engines lit. Our next major event is Max Q. Max Q. 
and maximum aerodynamic pressure. Mission control says everything is going good, and Aurora 2 is still go for a booster splashdown attempt. Stage two engine chill. We will be going through MECO and stage separation very soon. After that, booster two will be waiting a little bit before turning into a retrograde position. MECO and stage separation. Second stage ignition and stage separation. That tracking camera shot is pretty cool. And we are seeing Booster's two camera. As you can see, the booster is performing a flip. Fairing separation confirmed. Boost back burn startup. And the booster landing attempt has now officially started. I can't believe that we are actually going through the future right now. Indeed, this is the first time we have ever attempted this kind of maneuver. Coast phase cutoff. Boost back burn shutdown. And we have both stages turning off their engines. Booster 2 is on a nominal trajectory coming from Mission Control. Next up is Entry Burn. Entry burn startup. Engine relight. Both stages are synchronized. This is kind of funny. Booster two will burn for around 20 seconds, making it slow down so it can enter the atmosphere safely. Entry burn shut down. And here we go. Booster 2 is now on its final coast before landing burn. So now that we are in a state with not a bunch of stuff hey penning, let's talk about our future and launch vehicles. I've talked about Aurora X before liftoff. Aurora X is our super heavy launch vehicle, which is also fully reusable. Aurora X purpose is getting heavy cargo and most importantly, Druids on Luna. Getting Druids on Luna is our biggest goal. We've had it since we launched the company. The first step into this mission is happening on March 22nd with the launch of our crew capsule, Orealis. After today's launch, Orealis will perform an abort test. On February 27th, Phantom One is also on track for a launch aboard Kuiper Space's Horizon rocket. Pictures are coming very soon. It was a pretty confidential project here at Phantom Corporation. Second stage cutoff. Please wait for the final call out. Nominal orbit insertion. And for the second time, Aurora 2 has made it into orbit. Today's payload won't separate in today's stream as the second stage needs to raise its orbit and also change its inclination.
and we have a full screen view on the booster. Landing burn is very soon. As you can see, the booster is very stable. It could land without fins if we wanted to, but we kind of need to have control. Landing burn startup. And here we go. Booster 2 has lit its five engines and is on track for a soft splashdown. We have a buoy not too far away, so we might have sound. We can see the ocean clearly. You might think the booster is going slow, but it's actually going very fast. We can see the landing legs deploy. We are still 30 seconds away from splashdown. What an amazing sight. Would you hear that sonic boom and those engine noises? We are getting closer and closer to the ocean. And we have hit the ocean. Landing burn shut down. Booster has made it to target location. Oh my god. What an incredible achievement coming for our team and engineers here at Aurora Space. I can't believe we pulled this off. The booster landed at its targeted location and landed softly and precisely. Huge congratulations to the Aurora Space team. What an amazing launch we witnessed today. Next launch is launching big people satellites up there. Launch our first of five launches of 10 Juno links for Fusion Space. With this achievement of Booster 2 splashdown, Booster 3 will attempt an LZ-1 landing. We'll see you there. I was Eric McCander, Head of Management at Phantom Corporation. And I was Laura Starr, Head of Propulsion at Aurora Space.